Today is the feast of the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary to her kinswoman Elizabeth. The feast of the visitation was begun by Saint Bonaventure among the Franciscans in the year 1263 or 1263. It became a universal feast in the year 1389 during the papacy of Pope Urban VI, and it celebrates the visit of Mary to Elizabeth after the angel Gabriel announced to Mary that she would be the mother of Jesus. The first reading for the feast is chosen from the prophet Zephaniah, chapter 3, verses 14 to 18. And in this reading, the call is primarily to rejoice. This rejoicing is for many reasons. The first of these is that judgment has been taken away by the Lord. The Lord is now in the midst of his people. This being in the midst of his people is confirmed by the gospel text of today, taken from the gospel of Luke chapter 1, verses 39 to 56, where Jesus is already in the womb of Mary and so among his people. There will be no more reproach, says Zephaniah, no more condemnation. Now, there will be only unconditional and eternal love. This unconditional love is confirmed both by the physical act of Mary's visit to her kinswoman Elizabeth and also by the Magnificat, which is attributed to Mary. In this Magnificat, Mary extols God's greatness because God has indeed redeemed the people. The verbs that Mary uses in the hymn are all in the past tense, though they signify future actions. Mary is so confident that she can speak of as having already happened those events which will still happen in the future because she believes in God's power, she believes in God's majesty, she believes in God's promise, and she believes in God's love. This is an indication of the faith and confidence that Mary has in God, who she is confident will accomplish all that God has promised. Though on the surface level, the visitation may appear to be Mary's concern and love for her cousin, which it surely is, on the deeper level it means that Mary wants to share with Elizabeth what God has done in each of their lives and to their sons to be born, in the case of Elizabeth, John the Baptist, in the case of Mary, Jesus, what God will do in our world. Our world is now shaken up. Our world is now in turmoil. And we need a peace like the visitation to remind us that God is with us. It is likely that there are some of us who are unable to see God's hand, who are unable to feel God's presence. If we are in this mindset, the Lord is saying to us, do not fear. Our Blessed Mother is saying to us that God will always be true to the promises that God has made. And in Jesus, if there is one promise that God has made, it is that God loves the world and God wants every human being to be saved. This is the good news that Mary communicates to Elizabeth. This is the good news that she communicates to us. Now that we have heard this good news, we must share this good news 
with anyone whom we meet, with whom and when will you share this good news of God's unconditional and eternal love?